everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here and welcome back. Today we are in a different spot, a different viewpoint, and we're having a different video. So I put out a poll and asked you guys, this past weekend I went to a concert and I asked you guys, do you want a story time on that first awesome concert experience? And you guys said, yes please, spill the tea. So here I am doing it and please ignore my messy bedroom. I don't know that it's that messy, but like, don't judge me. This was my dream concert, and I don't know if you guys remember, but in a video I posted about a year ago now, it's top five things I've never done. We've crossed quite a few of those off lately. If you go back and watch that, I will link it at the end of the video. But I am really excited because one of those things was go to a concert, which I had never done. I know at 24, how have you never been to a concert before? I don't know, I'm living under a rock. This was my absolute dream concert. It was either this or Ed Sheeran. And I was saying in the video that no one, none of those people ever come here. And long and behold, a year later, guess who came? Guess who came to the place I live? Andy Grammer. So let's start off the story time from the beginning. When I first got to the theater. Okay, so first off, I ended up going to this concert by myself. I know, loner style, because no one was available to go with me. So single Pringle life all the way. So. I got into the actual theater and the theater that I went to was kind of an intimate small theater and I really enjoyed that because that atmosphere, even though we were scrammed in there like sardines and so close to each other that we could literally, each of us had to take turns breathing, it was super nice because then when the concert did start, he came out and it was like anywhere in the building that you were, you were close enough to see him and close enough to get good videos and pictures. It was awesome. Well, when I first got there, I was super nervous because even though it was a pretty small venue, I was really nervous about it being super crowded and it definitely was. It, we were basically slapped in there like sardines. It was super hot. It was like not very spacious, but I actually ended up getting a really good spot. I would say I was probably about fourth or fifth row, maybe a little further because I feel like I kept getting pushed back further and further during the show. But I also was really excited because Andy was coming on. And so this whole time I'm like standing there and I will, I want to mention this now, I did not move for three hours. This concert was three hours long and I did not move once. And I know what you're gonna say, that's not healthy and no it was not. It was not a good reflection. I should have moved at some point, my legs locked up. And I'm waiting and then everybody, starts to get excited and the lights come down and I'm like, oh my gosh, we're ready. It's time. And then the opening act comes on and I'm, I'm a little confused because I had heard from family that an opening act always comes on and they had asked me previous to this concert, who's the opening act? And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't even think he had one. And apparently he did. That was Devin Cole. Anyone who knows who Devin Cole is, I'm sorry. I don't know. I didn't know who this was. She came on, she rocked the performance. She did Before He Cheats as one of her songs. So hats off to you, Devin Cole. That was a great rendition. Anyone who really likes that song is a, is a winner in my book. So that was a little confusing because when she came on, I was like, I have no idea who this person is. Everyone else around me is cheering, having a great time. And I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know who you are. Come out and really connect with her fans. And she definitely got everyone hyped up because by the time Andy came on, Everybody was dancing and moving and throwing their hands up and it was just, it was such a good time. During the concert I had noticed that at many times I was maybe like uncomfortable, but like not uncomfortable in a, the same sense of like uncomfortability. Like my stomach was rumbling from the music, it was like loud, it was tight, it was uncomfortable, but at the same time it was also kind of a spiritual moment, like kind of cool because it was one of those things that's like Everyone here is just vibing. Everybody is here for the same reason. We're all having a good time. It's all just good vibes and good energy all around. Just, it was one of those feelings, if you've ever been to a concert, you would know what I'm talking about. But that just like sensation of happiness mixed with nerves, mixed with like, just wow, just that excitement. Finally, the moment comes. Andy comes on stage. Now, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but there was actually a set piece of a doorway that was set up on stage. And I was like, he's gonna, he's gonna dance in front of the door. Like that's guaranteed he's gonna use this door as a prop for his entrance. And long and behold, he used it. He danced in front of it and he came bursting out of it for his first live performance. So I 
just, I was so blown away. He played every single song I knew. He played a song that he hadn't even released yet. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I'm going to. And it was just a magical experience. I also did not realize that Andy Grammer was reggae music. I, I, I guess that makes a lot of sense. It's a really good energy music. But I, no clue. I didn't even know that, I thought he was just pop or soft rock or something. You cannot just sit around and wait for other people to be available to go with you. Like, I will not lie, I was scared shitless to go to this concert by myself because I felt like, oh, everybody else was gonna have their friends, everybody else was gonna be having such a good time. I'm just gonna be standing here with my water and just be kind of like awkwardly looking in my camera. So I was like really uncomfortable. But at the same time, I had such a good time and I would so do it again. Like no question, I would definitely go to a concert by myself again. I would still be very uncomfortable. I don't know that I'm gonna go to my next concert by myself, however, because it's more of a stadium setup. But personal concerts like this are so much nicer and was such a good starting point. And I cannot recommend Andy Grammer concerts enough. His energy, his style, his vibe, his message. And if you really wanna know, did I pick up any merch? Hell yeah, I did. First off, he had these cool little bills that you could write positive messages on and then pin them to a board, which I did. And then I ended up taking one as a souvenir and don't get salty in the comments. I made sure that there was still plenty left for other people to use. It was the end of the night, but I ended up snagging one of these and it has him on the actual bill. I, that's freaking awesome, don't even lie. And then of course, because I had walked up to the merch stand the first time and I was like, you know, I don't know that I really want any merch. Like none of this is really speaking to me. And so then I ended up going like and finding my seat and it, I will not seat, but I ended up standing around and waiting for the concert because I was like, I don't know that I want to get anything yet. Way after the show, after I've had this spiritual experience of like, oh my gosh, this dude's so cool. And he's just such a genuine guy. I was like, I'm going to get my back over to that merch stand and I'm gonna buy something cool to not only remember this moment but also to support the heck out of this guy because he is spreading a positive message with a positive attitude and spreading kindness and joy and love and that's just something I can totally get behind. I got, I'm not gonna tell you how much it was, it was $30 but that's okay because he's a good artist and I wanted to support. But I got this, I didn't realize it was signed until I read the description, but I got a signed Andy Grammer poster. Yes, it's cool. I have nowhere to hang it in my room. Um, you can't see the rest of my room, but it is smothered in posters. So where's this gonna go? I don't know, probably not in here. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really glad I went to the concert and I just had to get my thoughts out into a video to see what I could say about the concert. It just all happened so fast, but it was such a great moment. I highly recommend Andy Grammer concerts. I highly recommend that you go to a first concert, even if just a small one, a big one, a one man show, a band, like anything. I, I, I encourage you so badly to go because now that I've gone, it's such an amazing experience. Even if you only go once in your life, just go just to see if you vibe with it. And if you totally don't, if you get super socially anxious, then don't go to another one. But at least put yourself out there and whether you have to go on your own, go with a friend, go with your grandma, go with your mom, go with your dog, whether you have to go with whoever or just on your own to do it, rock out on your own, have a great time. And I'm also going to see a pink concert here later in um, the summer. I'm very excited. I've heard very good things about her concerts. Um, so wish me luck. It's at a stadium, so it's a little less intimate. So I guess I'll have to see what compares to the Andy Grammer concert. If you guys would like me to, I don't know, maybe do a video either on a recap of that, or maybe I can do a video comparing the two, like what is a stadium concert versus a smaller venue concert like. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got any enjoyment out of this. I'm so sorry if it was wordy and long and none of this made any sense. But point to the story, had an awesome time. Andy Rock, you guys should go to concerts even if you have to go by yourself. But that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, bye.